friends today i'm gonna show you how use a linear mix model for genome wide association analysis just don't forget subscribe the channel and write me your concern comments and ideas and we want to have a genome wide association analysis in our environment using Gaston R package. As you can see in this slide, the general form of genome wide association analysis using a linear mix model has this form. Why is the vector of our observation, our measurement, our traits? W is our fixed effect and G gamma is the SNP effect and G is the polygenic effect and E is the random residual effect, non-genetic effects. So we can say our mixed model has two main category of variables fixed effect variables and random effect variables random effect variables we include because to correct for polygenic effects and residual or non-genetic effect. We assume that G as a polygenic effect follow a normal distribution with zero mean and variance G times psi. Psi is a genomic relationship matrix or Kremlin is n by n n is number of individual number of samples we have in our study and we assume that residual e follower is a random vector of lengths n which follow a normal distribution with mean zero and variance e times identity matrix so variance e represent now all non-genetic variants due to non-genetic effects that is a general form of linear mix model now let's go in our environment and do a real genome-wide association analysis using these models. Just keep in mind the general structure of this model. As I told you, the package I'm gonna use is Gaston. Gaston is really nice package even for a large data set when we when you have millions of SNPs this package is reliable very fast also you can use it for binary and quantitative traits this is a great feature Another important feature of this package is has lots of uh, function. You can make a GRM, you can uh, use LD plot function to visualize the LD between markers. Also, there are several algorithms you can estimate heritability variance component for both binary and quantitative trait also you can uh, filter out your SNPs genotype uh, according to Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium or 
some other statistic also it can read another important feature of this package is it can read the read by read bed matrix you can read the peeling file also you can read this vcf file this is a great feature also you can after analysis you can plot your SNP uh, p-values using Manhattan plot function also you can have a QQ plot so all you need are in one package so let's explain you the data set I have then we can go in our environment and run the model as you can see I have a p-link binary files this data set is the apple data set I have a bed file beam file and fan file also I have an extra file which contains my phenotypes Here is my target trait, quercitrin, is the ter trait I want to use uh, in a y-vector for genome-wide analysis. Also, I have two extra variables, they are covariate. I just want to use catechin as a one of covariate. Here I have the IDs for my sample. Just keep in mind that the order of your phenotype should be exactly the same as your fan file information. Also, if you have a phenotype in the last column in fan file, you can use it. So, for running a Gaston R package I have these four files plus Gaston uh, R code just sub subscribe the channel and write me your email address I can send you this R code as well so let's go in our environment and run the model the first thing I can do here is remove all unused function. Then set the work directory to this folder. Okay. Then load Gastonar package. The second thing, the third thing I should do is uh, assign the number of uh, autism I have I have one 17 chromosome here I just put one to 17 the next thing is read the binary file peeling binary file by using the red red bed matrix function just by putting the name of file peeling file in this function like this let's read it hmm so easy so easy and fast the next thing I should read this phenotype file okay that's it finished just let me show you the head of my pheno. Hmm, you can see. Okay. As I said, we need to create genomic relationship matrix. Gaston has mm, function to create genomic relationship matrix by these two functions. GRM X here 
Hmm. You can see my GRM. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, is it? Okay. Hmm. The next thing I should do is estimate eigenvalues of my genomic relationship matrix. <coughs> by eigen eigen is a x uh, is a basic base uh, r function mm. you can have eigen values and eigen vectors here the gaston r package use this output to run a linear mix model the next thing is to specify how many uh, covariates you want to include in the model here I want to have the data set I want to use is fin the name of my phenotype I have uh, as I said I want to use this one as a catechin as a covariate let's do it Hmm. let's see what is inside the w as you can see the first col column is a vector of y as an in intercept and catechin as a covariate okay the function for association analysis in gaston is association test i should introduce my genotype codes here and my phenotype here I my file was fin and I just want to use cursitrin here is a distribution of my phenotype okay and I should tell their function what is my response is quantitative or binary here I have a quantitative trait so I just use quantitative word and also I should specify my W matrix as the covariate and uh, my eigenvalues here and the method uh, I wanna run a linear mix model also I want to do a wall test uh, for quantitative trait mm, Gaston can do wall test or LRT test both of them are nearly the same with the minor differences between them just let's push the run hmm. it's fast it's so fast Four ninety thousand snippets. Very quick. Let's see the result using the Manhattan function. Mm. No, I have a large peak on chromosome one. It's really something should be here. It's really nice peak and significant. If I want to define a threshold bond Fermi correct threshold, I can use 0 0.05 divided by number of its names. Uh, this is a stringent threshold. How many is I have? Yeah. 998,000, nine, nine, nearly 98,000 SNPs. Let's see the threshold. Mm. Really nice threshold. Mm. Also, we can use the function QQ plot values to visualize the uh expected versus uh, observed observed p-values 
I just let me show you the reason. Just let me show you the result of the, the result. As you can see, Gaston estimated the SNP effect, heritability of each SNP, and frequency of minor alleles, and beta is SNP effect, SD for SNP effect, and p value for each SNP. All you need, all summary statistics. Okay, let's see the QQ plots. Hmm. Here you can see lots of SNP deviated from the norm line, which is indicated by red colors. So, don't forget to subscribe the channel, write me your comments uh, and ideas and contact me for the R codes.